Oh, shalom guys, how are you? It's Dan David here and I'm, I'm recording here from my home office here. My home and home office here in Toronto, Canada, or more like uh, Vaughan, Vaughan, Canada, Vaughan, Ontario. Well, I, I haven't really been doing what I want to do. I'm sensing I'm supposed to be doing prophetic words for you and to really inspire and edify your faith. And I haven't been doing that uh, much, so this is something new for me. So, you know, bear with me here. I want to, you know, get uh, kind of more comfortable here to help you. There's a good camera angle. But I feel like, uh, you know, most, some of you know, at least uh, with my work, you know, um, that I'm a musician, uh, award nominated musician, you know, and I make music uh, of testimony and praise. Uh, I used to be a secular musician, but then I came to faith in Jesus. And I wanted to share the experience with the world. I feel called to do that. So I have an organization called Dan David Music International. We share songs all over the world of praise and testimony. You know, Psalm 96 is one of my main psalms saying to reach people, proclaim God's goodness and salvation every single day to, to share the reality of God. You know, interestingly enough, um, even when you hear Justin Bieber out there sharing his faith in Jesus, it, it just makes me think about how anybody who is touched by Jesus wants to share that with the world. Just that I do it as, as a mission with my organization and uh, it's a work that I do full time. I'm, of course, very thankful for my supporters who are supporting this work, praying for this work, for giving out CDs to change lives. I'm planning to do lots of concerts and outreaches in the coming uh, time, waiting for the borders to reopen, building my team as well, talking to people on my team on how to be more effective. Uh, you, and please keep this work in prayer. If you know about my work at Dan David Music, keep it in prayer. Pray for more favor, more guidance for me as the co-leader. You know, I believe God is the leader. I'm, I'm the co-leader. So pray for me for more favor, guidance. But this is something new I want to do, share prophetic insights. I believe God has given me prophetic gifts for many, many years now. And I feel very, a little sad that I've been so quiet. So I feel like I should share, share these words. I hope you'll be well received. Uh, by all means, if you like what I share, please like the video, share the video. Give me maybe some tips about how to record them better. I am still new to, to doing YouTube. I just, it's just not my specialty. But I wanted just to share and not go too long. I see that I'm looking at the time here. So, um, and uh, as we're talking about it, um, yeah, um, thinking. So I wanted to share this word with you. So praise God, I pray to, uh, touches you, of course, and that uh, you, will, you will hear what I have to share. One, one thing I want to share about is what's going on with the prophetic movement around the world. And um, sorry that I'll be distracted there. I have a beautiful picture with my children here <laughs> in front of me here while I'm recording. But yeah, I wanted to um, share about just errors that have been going on in the prophetic world. Um, and I'm sure I'm not the only person in the world sharing that. But there's been just, uh, you know, so many people coming out as pro prophets of God. Now, I don't declare to be a prophet, but I have prophetic gifts and I know I can hear it. Uh, from God, I can hear truth from God, but many people, big names, have come out as prophets and they were all wrong, predicting many things, but especially lately predicting that Trump would be president and he wasn't. So I wanted to say that I heard in my spirit a long time ago, and this is not about politics, I don't talk about politics on social media, I mean, I'm, I, uh, you know, believe in Jesus, I'm a follower of God, and obviously I want godly values out there, so, you know, you can just imagine I'm a conservative, uh, but, you know, uh, by choice, I... But that, that's not about politics. In example, here in Canada, we have a liberal government, and I honestly think that lately they've been doing good work. They've really been doing good work for the country, and so I try to be fair. I don't, uh, I'm not like into politics too much. I want to be fair. Yes, I had a chance to meet the potential prime minister of Canada before he just lost that election, and he actually won in numbers, but he lost. Go figure how that happened. I had a chance to pray over him. I had a chance to meet him face to face, shake his hand. A couple of MPs have gone to my concert. So I'm connected to the political world, but I'm not into politics, so like, like I said, like our leaders lately have been doing good work on the liberal side here as well. So I'm, it is not about politics, but I heard in my spirit that Trump is not going to win. Uh, most people in my family love Trump, and I'll just tell you that. I'm not going to tell you where I, st you know, I'm not here to talk politics, but I heard in my spirit he's not going to win. Doesn't mean that I wanted that or not. I just heard in my spirit. So when prophets were saying he was going to win, um, excuse me if I speak too fast, too. <laughs> um, you know, I got a, a little distracted by that and. Um, you know, I see we have time. Okay, good, good. I'm not sure how long I can go on my phone. I just wanted to check that second. So, yeah, um, I kind of got distracted, but, but I realized there was uh, some problem with these prophets uh, saying that because I, I, I heard in my spirit, he's just not going to win. So it's an interesting situation here that here I am. I'm not declaring myself to be a prophet, but I believe we can hear from God, that God has given me special gifts to hear from him. He's anointed me to hear from him. And prophets can only prophesy in part. And so many prophets were saying the way it's going to be, and it was totally different than what they predicted. Uh, and many of them are now kind of apologizing or repenting, as we call it in our biblical language, you know. 
And what I could say about this is, yes, prophets who've done that, who misrepresented the whole body of believers, who said stuff that won't happen, need to apologize, they need to repent. But it's even more than that. Uh, I've been discouraged that people in my community, for example, I serve the Messianic Jewish community. It's a very incredible prophetic movement of Jewish people coming to faith all over the world, you know. Uh, all over the world they're coming to faith in Jesus and they're believing, uh, you know, that Jesus is the Messiah and uh, coming to faith and, and uh, you know, all over Israel they're rising up. Here in North America, Canada as well, where I live, they're rising up. I'm a big part of inspiring them with music and testimonies. And if you have questions, feel free to leave a comment. Myself or somebody from my team will help you. I'm looking actually for more people on my team to help you just with social media questions. So um, I'm praying to find the right people for that. But somebody will get back to you. If you have questions, uh, I definitely want to share, you know, the realities of God with people so that people can experience the fullness of it, the richness of it. It's, uh, it's just an incredible thing to know and to experience, you know. Um, and uh, hallelujah. And, and God, when we do God's work, He wants to bless us on earth and in heaven. I even stumbled upon a scripture in the Bible that talks about there are rewards in heaven and as we do good work. So keep doing good work. Keep being generous. Keep doing that. But uh, the prophets have disappointed us. They have said lies and they said that Trump is going to win. He didn't win. They said for sure he's going to win regardless of whatever happens and something will, will be changed. And it didn't happen. I always knew in my spirit that I just heard differently, that I heard that he wasn't going to win. Um, and so what I could say is there's a lot of deceptions with prophets. Many prophets are just giving false information. Uh, the best way to understand it is that they can only hear in part, especially when it comes to big things, uh, something like an election or a big thing to do with somebody else's decisions. You cannot predict what somebody else is going to do, really, because that's witchcraft. That's not God's will. So we have to be careful with that. There's scriptures also in, uh, what is it, Jeremiah 23, that prophets have to be very careful what they're saying, and if they're, they got it wrong, they have to repent. I mean, there's been uh, prophets in my own movement who are just big names, like Sid Roth and others, and they've just totally, I feel like they have hurt our whole movement by saying the wrong words. Again, nothing against them, but I feel like they have kind of, embarrassed our whole movement of kind of Jewish believers in Jesus because of false prophecy. So I heard from the start that Trump unfortunately wasn't going to win. And I remember even, you know, even around close friends and so on, who people who said, oh, Trump has to win. I just kept quiet because it's not politics. It's just I didn't hear it from my spirit. It's, it's about truth. It's not about politics. And apparently he didn't win. He lost, of course. Now, now I'm also hearing my spirit that Biden is not going to last for the whole term. And again, it's not what I don't I'm not involved in politics. I for all I know, I don't even need to be reading political news. I do read it because I, I travel and I want to know what goes on in every part of the world, so on. But I also don't believe Biden will last for the whole term. It's another thing I'm hearing in my spirit. A couple other prophets have heard that too, that he just won't last for the term. Maybe he'll quit. Maybe he'll resign. I don't know what will happen. Uh, maybe he won't make it, God forbid. I'm, I'm not wishing that. I just thought I heard in my spirit that he may not make it for the term. So maybe Kamala Harris wouldn't become president. That's not going to be good, probably. But I heard something along those lines too. But... Um, I want to help share more prophetic words with you to help you discern, uh, you know, any prophets that even tell you what you're going to do in advance are lying to you because they cannot predict your will. You, you have your own free will and we need to do good. That's why I released a CD called Willpower and it's about doing God's will. And I'm not here to promote my CD, by the way, but I'll leave a couple links. You can know where to get my new CD. I have CDs and music that have inspired countless people around the world. And I mean countless. There's no way to keep track of that. Um, and I'll leave a link if you want to know more about my music. I play the violin and have a band and singing. And we are focused on reaching people for God and to experience healing and joy, to build your faith, you know, and to bless you. So I'll leave a couple links. But we need truly to do God's will. We need to align our will with God's will and to hear correctly from the prophetic world. And so I, I rely on the prophetic guidance as well. I have a prophetic uh, mentor that I tune into and pay attention to what he has to say. But a lot of prophets had it wrong. And I could share a lot more with you, insights that I get about the prophetic. So let me know, what would you like me to teach about? What can I share with you? Uh, this is my first video talking about the prophetic, so I'm just, uh, I'd say, a little bit nervous about it. But, you know, bear with me here and let me know, what can I share with you? What can I teach you about? Can I share with you some insights about some, you know, difficult or complicated topics? Let me know, because I may have the answers. So let me know in the comments. Feel free to share the video, to like it. And uh, I promise you, I'll look at getting better cameras and sharing more with you. I really want to see people empowered by the truth. Talk soon. God bless you.